You're waiting for me? <laughs> yeah, what do you want to? Okay, this is Sash. What's up, Sashi and Bot? What's up? All right, we got Ryan. It's his birthday. Ooh. What's up? Okay. okay All right, guys. Uh, yeah, you guys are total stuff. Here we go. Teach me grappling. How's it going? Uh, come on, hurry up. My, my camera's about to die. All right. Okay, here we go. We're going double leg. Go double leg cargo pass off the guillotine. I'm doing double uh, leg. It doesn't really matter. Can you, let Sash do it. Hit the double. Hit the double. He goes guillotine. He cargo off the, the takedown. You know? So he comes into side control. Now, this is what we showed you last time, right? You go to the bomb flu choke. Show me bomb flu choke. Arm goes around, right palm up, making sure that our lock is proper. He goes left shoulder. Remember, whoa, whoa. See, it's kind of in the jaw. Push it into the chest, into the neck, then back step. Back step. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, that's all good, fine, and dandy. But if you shoot another double leg and Ryan gets the guard this time, he goes full guard. Let me take you back to the old school days, guys. Come on back over here. Come on, get this angle. Okay, old school, old school. Just put the arm over the neck, hug it. No, 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 no. Old school, come on over here, come on over here. He just drives on his toes, shoulder pressures. In the MMA world, we would hit rib shots in NHB and just, just put the shoulder pressure until he lets go. And then your neck is out of the hole to get your posture and everything's great. But why do we need that nowadays, guys? It's still good. I'm not saying abandon it all together. But when you've got an ability for a guillotine, use the Von Flew choke. He's going to lock his hands, okay? Just like that. See how he pulled the lock? And now his head's on this side of his lock. Now he drives. Now listen. He's not going to tap. Just hold it. He's not going to tap. What he's going to do in, real, in the real world, get in close so you can see this, okay? This guard is gonna open at some point. He doesn't wanna tap. He's gonna let go, he's gonna pry, and then, okay, that was fast. Let's go back to the guard piece. The guard will open, and he will start to try to use his butterfly hooks. He'll try to get you off of him, and during that time, you start to pass. Now, if you get free and clear to side control, go ahead, you know the deal. You just go shoulder pressure, back step, and it's all over. Or you got OSP variation, grabbing the shoulder, Pin the arm down, staple it, and then we lock. And we go shoulder pressure. Again, let's focus on into the chest and then into the neck. We don't need to pressure on their jaw and just crush their jaw and waste our energy. We want to go straight in the neck. Okay, back to the guard again. Back to the guard again. Guy goes guillotine. Arm around the neck. Lock up the Von Flu choke. Then we're putting the pressure again. Dip the shoulder down into the chest and then into the neck, you guys see that? Now he's defending, this time we only go to half guard. Half guard, yes, but it just keeps getting worse. Stay in half guard, don't worry. This process right now, as I'm teaching you, is happening really fast. Sasha's also bigger than Ryan, so it's happening really fast. Keep in mind, size for size, this may take a while. I've done this before where it's taken a full minute. I sit in the guard and I shoulder pressure, shoulder pressure, shoulder pressure, until I finally get to half guard. I graduate to half guard, then I go from half guard for another 20 seconds and I graduate to side control and then we end it, okay? So even in half guard, he's trying to defend. It, it's a little bit uh, harder for him to defend than full guard, but then it just keeps getting worse. And then as Corey and Gracie would say, jumping from the frying pan into the fire. You just go from one bad spot into a worse spot and now the back step happens. Go ahead, hit the back step and it's all over. Now let's reverse it, let's let Ryan try. So there is a significant size difference. Let me just state this. If someone's a lot taller, like Sasha's a lot taller, you're gonna notice when Ryan goes for the Von Flucho, his shoulder probably won't reach. It'll probably have difficulty reaching. But if you get a good walk and you settle and you tire him out and weaken his legs, it's still a possibility. Hit that double leg. You end up in the guard. We, we want a cardio, but we end up in the guard. Okay, he goes arm around the neck. Lock your hands, right? Sash is gonna extend the legs. You notice the shoulder can't reach the neck to become effective. Lock your hands. Good, I know you can barely reach. Get to even an S grip, that's fine. Now just use gravity. Stay here. While this guy's trying to finish you, can he finish you? Lean in. You can finish him? Okay, lock your hands. Get strong. Lean in. Don't let him. You see, it's better lock. Harder to finish, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, stay here. He's still trying. It, it might be like an inch. It might be an inch. Just stay. Stay. You gotta survive anyway. Stay. 
Let him get tired. As you keep extending you and extending you, and then all of a sudden he starts to get a little tired, the shoulder will get closer and closer. Oh, and then what just happened? Did we almost out? Don't jump to the left side, right? Don't jump to the left side. Back step. That's fine. And now keep your balance. And bring, drive into him with the shoulder. Use the shoulder, use the shoulder. It's awkward. Look at this ha reverse half guard. I've been in this situation many times. Just stay, everything's fine. If he ever tries to roll you, you keep your balance with your legs. Keep the lock tight. Do not get rolled over this way, right? Always sit this way is more safe. Keep the shoulder, drive the shoulder. Keep going. He's trying to survive. Eventually, free up the leg. Free up the leg. It's okay, stay with it. Keep balance, drive your shoulder, drive the shoulder. Shoulder pressure, shoulder pressure. Now we're in the mount pretty much. We go to side control. Time for the back step. It's gonna get, he's defending now with the arm. That's okay, back step, wear him out, wear him out. Back step, wear him out, wear him out. It's beautiful. Consistency, guys, oh, consistency. I'm gonna cut this video short. We're not gonna do a long one today. My battery, my battery on my phone's about to die. So thank you guys so much, okay? Teach me grappling. Don't forget, please, I, I just, yesterday I got a lot of people hitting up Patreon. Thank you. Um, to all you guys that, that jumped in there. Maybe it was because I whined and I begged. But uh, please, guys, try to help me out on Patreon. Click the link down below in the uh, description box. It's gonna help me a lot, and it's gonna help me keep bringing this, and I'm gonna stay motivated. I'm gonna bring you guys new stuff every single day. So, uh, thank you. Stay consistent. Keep the shoulder pressure. Stay consistent, good balance. Don't get rolled. And don't forget the old school stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. But once you learn that you can get a lock, Man, might as, might as well use that lock to get the choke, okay? Von Flew Choke's an awesome choke. I'm gonna show you guys some other cool stuff tomorrow. I know you guys have been asking about the uh, when. Why do I hold a guillotine when the guy's in side control? Aren't I gonna get Von Flew'd? I've got some uh, stuff that I do just before that. So come check it out tomorrow. All right, teach me grappling.